Personally, I found the power armor frame texture to be really ugly. My actual power armor always ended up getting destroyed in battle, especially when I was fighting some higher level enemies. And then there came out the regular power armor frame texture that had its kind of industrial or not appropriate looking colors. Well, today I'm going to show you a way to fix that. So what this mod actually adds in is five new and unique power armor frames that are going to be scattered all over the map. So these are obviously huge improvements over the original frame. Each one has its own theme and kind of unique personality behind it. Let's go over each one individually and I'll kind of explain to you where you find them, how you get them, and what they're meant to be all about. So first up we have the winter theme. As you can see here it is a white texture with some kind of wintry camo on some of the pieces of it, like the arms and torso and the legs behind the actual like exosuit armor part. You're going to find this in a evidence locker and basically I think it's going to go really well with any armor that you use in the snow. So as far as mods go that could be like the T49 storyteller armor, the anchorage armor or which is just a paint job or really any just white or lighter color paint. It's going to be a really cool under armor even for some other mods because I think having white pop up when it breaks off will just look nice on different mods. So what I think will be actually one of the most popular armors is the military armor. So as you can see we do have some camos on there again as well as it is a nice like OD green. You're going to find this in the Fort Strong nuke chamber. So a uh, pretty fitting place if you do, I do say so myself. As well as you do have some like metal gray accents as you can see on the actual exoskeleton again. I think this will be the most popular because well it's military. <laughs> Everything military flavored in Fallout pretty much does well so I have a feeling a lot of people are going to like this and want to use this with various power armors and then when they break off it'll be like this or maybe even some people just using it as more of an exoskeleton rather than the fully fledged power armor. Next is the construction frame and this is at the Corvega assembly plant so obviously I would highly recommend you using this one with the construction power armor or the utility construction power armor uh, which is a mod obviously not in the vanilla game but it is so fitting for that power armor and I really like that uh, ideology behind it but see like even stuff like that it's very fitting for that and uh, those two would mesh really well together. Both the frame and the power armor themselves are kind of a weird bright yellow so I think when the power armor breaks it won't look nearly as weird seeing a gray red under it. You'll see yellow and some rust and all that and I think it just looks really nice this particular frame. I like the rust textures and all that and then the yellow brightness to contrast it. So this one I really like, this is the clean power armor frame, so if you look at the old power armor frame there, you could tell this one is basically that, just clean. It's like someone went and power washed it, everything is more or less the same, just doesn't look as like yellow and gross and old. So I really like this uh, little addition, I don't know, I just think people that might have actually kind of liked the regular power armor, but just a cleaner version, this one's obviously being a white and like red kind of texture colors together. Even from behind those little tanks do look way more nice and everything like the chrome and silver on the new one does look so much nicer. It looks like it's polished and just all around a lot nicer to look at. So this is without a doubt my favorite of the bunch. This is the Brotherhood of Steel power armor and it's going to be in the Cambridge police station but basically what it does is give you a red and black texture maybe some dark grays in there too and I think this is going to look the best with all the different frames. I think it'll mesh really well with a lot of the darker frames which people tend to use especially the enclave power armor which i was using earlier in this video so now with the enclave armor back on the power armor frame i think this looks so much nicer than before this one kind of just it flows like it doesn't look as weird seeing the hands and the shoulders being a totally different color i think the enclave armor or any really black armor will mesh a lot better with this even though in the reflection it does look a little silvery it's still kind of at its core looks better like the there's no legs on right now and the arm if that wasn't clear so look at how much better the legs look right now even with this new power armor frame so I figure what better to do now than actually go back and take on more of these Brotherhood of Steel, even though I don't think they actually realize we're in a fight yet, but that's okay. Okay, there you go. So now we're going to take them on. Obviously, I'm leaving the power armor as it is. I'm not going to uh, repair all the parts because then you don't get to really see the power armor frame as much, and I feel like that takes a little out of the... Uh, the the fun of it so as you can see there you kind of get some good shots especially in bats of the power armor frame but uh, in, in battle I feel like it's not as uh, reflective so it looks a hell of a lot better and uh, yeah so these guys these are pretty tough enemies my my plasma rifle is pretty far upgraded though so they shouldn't be too much of a problem we might even see more pieces break which would be pretty funny but uh, yeah so I'll keep throwing some grenades down uh, my plasma grenades obviously I'm an enclave fan so I do want the Brotherhood of Steel to uh, go away forever and uh, if you didn't check out I made a video of these two actually fighting with, all with the enclave armor like a fallout battles type thing as I jump in the air on accident oh 
and and I died. I thought I was in immortal mode. So apparently I'm not tough enough to take them on. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed with a little green screen there. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all next time. Later.